hello friends in this artificial intelligence class we are going to see the inference engine and backward chaining algorithm and that will come under second unit of logical reasoning first let us see what is inference engine inference engine is the component of intelligent system in which the logical rules are applied to the knowledge base to the knowledge base knowledge base means kb and why to infer new information from known facts to infer new information that is we are going to extract new information from the already existing information which are stored in knowledge base the first inference engine was part of the expert system and here there are two modes first one is forward chaining and second one is backward chaining The another important one is backward chaining algorithm. Define backward chaining algorithm. Backward chaining is also known as backward de deduction, backward deduction or backward reasoning method. It is used in inference engine. And this algorithm is a form of reasoning which starts with goal, which starts with goal and works backward. Okay, so it is starting from the backward direction and chaining through rules to find known facts that supports the goal it is otherwise called as top down approach top down approach the backward chaining is based on modus ponens inference rule and the goal is broken into sub goals actually the main goal is broken into sub goals or sub goals to prove the facts true this is called as backward chaining algorithm it is also called as goal driven approach because it starts from the goal as a list of goals decides which rules are selected to be and which rules are used next this is called as backward chaining algorithm and now let us see one example here they will give you a set of statements the given statements are as per the law it is crime for an american to sell weapons to hostile nation a country a an enemy of america has some missiles and all missiles were sold to it by robert who is an american citizen so from these statements we need to prove that robert is a criminal to solve the above problem first we have to convert all the above facts into first order definite classes and this is very important first we need to convert all the given english statements into first order logic statements the facts conversion into first order logic that is the given english statements will be converted into first order logic form it is crime for an american to sell weapons to hostile nations here we are having three different variables and we are going to apply these variables in american weapon and hostile nation that is american of p conjunction that is and weapon of q and cells p comma q comma r that is p cells q to r and hostile of r implies criminal of p this is the first statement first statement will be converted into first order logic form and the country a has some missiles the country a has some missiles some missiles means existential instantiation isn't it so there exist p wants a comma p and missile of p a comma p and missile of p it can be written into definite class by using existential instantiation and for to replacing this thing we are going to introduce another variable t1 hence wants a comma t1 is the second sentence and missile of t is the third statement and next one 
all the missiles were sold to the country A by Robert. There exist P missile of P. There are some missiles owns A comma P owns A comma P that implies sells Robert comma P comma A. So this is the third statement. And next statement is missiles are weapons. Missiles are weapon, weapon means missile of P implies weapons of P. And this is the fifth one. And next statement is enemy of America is known as hostile. Enemy of P comma America implies hostile. And next one country A is an enemy of America that is enemy of A comma America. And the last one is Robert is American, American of Robert. So this is how we need to convert all the facts that is English statements into first order logic statements. In the forward training we will start our goal predicate first. Our goal is criminal of robot and from the goal only we will infer other facts. We will infer other facts and we will prove all those facts will be true. Our goal is robot is criminal. So the first step is criminal robot. This is our first step. In the second step we will infer other facts from the goal fact which is our goal fact criminal of robot and which satisfies the rule. Let us see the first rule that is rule 1 the goal predicate criminal of robot. So in the rule 1 we are having criminal of P and we are going to replace the P with robot then we will get criminal of robot. So we have to substitute P in the place of a robot. So add all the conjunctive facts all the other conjunctive facts. What are the other conjunctive facts here? American of P weapon of Q cells P comma Q comma R that is American of P weapon of Q cells P comma Q comma R Hosei of R Hosei of R here. But we are going to replace robot in the place of P because in the goal we are having the uh, robot Okay, so in the place of P, all the place of P, we are going to replace a robot. So this is the second step. And here we can see the American of P is proved. American of P is proved here. In step 3, we will extract the fact missile of Q, which infer from weapon of Q, which is available in rule 5. Rule 5 is here missile of P which implies weapon of P. So from this weapon of Q we will infer missile of Q. All we need is we need to replace T1 in the place of Q and weapon of Q is also true in the substitution of constant T1 at the place of Q. In step 4 we in fact the fact missile of T1 and owns of A comma T1 that is missile of T1 and owns A comma T1 from cells robot of T1 comma R cells robot of T1 comma R which satisfies the rule 4 rule 4 is here and here we are going to substitute A in the place of R so in the place of R we are going to substitute A in step 5 we can infer the fact enemy of A comma America from hostile A which satisfies rule 6. Rule 6 is here. So from this hostile A we can infer enemy of America. Enemy of P comma America which implies hostile of P. And hence all the statements of proved true by using the backward chaining algorithm. And that's all about backward chaining algorithm. And in the next video, we'll see another important topic from artificial intelligence. Thank you all of you.